Hey, what's going on, guys? So today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be basically uh, an efficient video sort of thing. Uh, so I think a lot of people forgot about this magic training method. Um, but this is called superheat, as many of you guys know. Um, this is very popular, obviously, on the EOC for mining and superheating type of thing. Uh, but anyway, so I found this to be a very good magic uh, method, basically, until level 55. I'm not level 55 yet, but I am getting level 51, so I can teleport to Artie at least now, um, after I completed the quest. But anyways, in this video, I gained exactly 6,584 magic experience in 4, min 4 minutes and 15 seconds. So I've gained a total of 92,834 experience in an hour, um, if you calculate the time, which basically is actually a lot faster than um, High Alking. I think High Alking is valued at 78k experience an hour, I think. Uh, that's what Bodhi told me, at least. Um, so this, this method actually is a lot faster than doing High Alk. Now, it does in some way cost money. Now, the ores that I'm doing is kind of more depending on your level. Um, the ideal way to do this is to be doing uh, gold ores in inventory with uh, gold gauntlets from the um, the Family Crest quest, which is uh, that's kind of I think you need 59 magic or some crap for that. So I don't have that yet, but in the future, that's probably how I'll be doing my magic and smithing levels um, besides uh, high alking because that's like, it's such a slow method. But yeah, with this method, um, iron ores are about 80 each, and iron bars are about 200 each, and nature is about 300 each. So I am losing just about, um, according to that, 180 GP. Yeah, so I lose about 180 GP every single cast. Now, it's kind of expensive, obviously, at this point, because, I mean, you got to remember, this is really fast experience anyways. But um, I'm pretty, I'm, for what you get on this is 53 magic experience, and depending on which type of bar you are making you get that smithing experience so i think with iron it's around like 12 experience or so um if i was doing gold ores it'd be like 40 experience with the uh, goldsmith gauntlets um so it's a huge difference for smithing like it's very, it's a lot of experience so let's just say if you do this method for 5.3 million magic experience and you do iron bars the whole time you will literally gain like about 1.1 mil smithing experience or so which is like level 70 ish no it's like 72 72 or 73 just around there so it is a fairly good method, but yeah, anyways, I'll be doing this basically until at least 55 until I decide what else to do. Um, one thing if you guys do want to know, you can actually superheat steel bars, which requires two coal and one iron. And I, I believe you can break, basically break even after you do that. But the thing is that your inventory is, I think you can make about nine steel bars in inventory. So like your inventory will be kind of messed up and it's good. it'll slow down the magic experience by a lot, but you will break even. So if you don't want to mix waste any money on magic, um, you can basically superheat uh, steel bars, which I think coal right now is about 150, and the iron ore is 80, so it costs 380 GP to make it, um, and the steel bars value just around 600 to 650, so you'll, make, you'll lose a little bit of money, I guess, but um, I mean, it's, it's a lot of experience. But yeah, I guess for any of you guys, any of you peers that are looking to get your magic to 55 the fastest, um, this is basically the fastest way, I believe. Uh, I don't know what else would be faster besides like, I don't think I've been doing like water blast or fire blast, and that crap would be uh, any quicker. And I guess in a way, this is quite reasonably cheap for how fast you get it. But yeah, anyways, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I would recommend this for any of you guys that are looking to get your magic up to whatever X amount of uh, experience or levels. Um, but yeah, I guess just a little quick method just to show you guys. Um, I think a lot of people kind of forgot about this spell. Um, but I guess now I can tell you guys um, it's freaking good.